Hey guys, it is another beautiful, warm June day in Rome, and this week is all about the pizza. We're gonna take you to three of the best pizzerias in Rome, a place that sells pizza by the slice, Neapolitan pizza, and then Roman style pizza. They're all so different, and I'm really, really excited to show you. and I'm the female foodie and my only goal is to share restaurant recommendations you can trust because especially in Rome, life is too short to eat bad food. Our first stop for this pizza journey, which we are so excited about, is at the Pizzeria. It's really close to the Vatican, so if you're looking for like a place to eat before or after at the Vatican, come here. This is a really cool place because it's by the slice. You get a number and then you wait. We waited probably about an hour total and it doesn't look like super busy, moderately busy maybe. The employees are great so they'll help you decide like what you're ordering and they basically weigh all the pizza you're getting so that's how they like price it out. pizza you pay for it and then you wait for them to heat it up which I think is kind of where the magic happens and then you wait again just a few minutes after that I asked what the most popular ones are Cody's gonna try some and I'm gonna try some but it looks like I've got some good offerings here so this is like a prosciutto cotto like cooked ham and then this one has I think like gosh it looks like a red pepper maybe and some potato and then like kind of a tomato and cheese so I'm gonna try all of them it smells so good Let's go ahead and try the one I was eyeing the most, which was this like ham and cheese one. Oh my gosh. Wow. Holy crap. That is freaking good. This is seriously good. The bottom has an amazing like crunch, but the inside, it, it tastes like focaccia. I'm sure the dough has like really similar makeup because it's really like bouncy and soft in the middle, crunchy on the bottom. And then you've got this like melted cheese and ham. I'm gonna try this one now. Looks like it's a, I can't tell if it's like tomato or pepper, basil, potato and cheese. Whoa, okay, this is so good. We've got roasted red peppers on this pizza, but they're not spicy at all. They're just like kind of like aromatic, flavorful. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. This one surprised me. I thought I would like, like it a little, love it. I'm excited to try this one because I am such a tomato girl. It basically looks like just tomato and cheese. Beautiful. You've got these really sweet, like, I'm assuming these are grape tomatoes or a similar equivalent, and just like cheese and bread. I'm impressed. Our first place on our pizza journey. Incredible, worth the wait. This first one. We think is a carbonara. I actually don't know exactly what it is. Oh my god. That tastes like potato. It tastes like a really good breakfast dish. It's really, really, really good. That's really unique. So this one looks like just a standard margarita. Some mozzarella, some tomato, some oil on top. So I'm just gonna give this one a go. Great crunch, a lot of basil coming through. That's a really fresh tasting type of a mozzarella. That's really good. Lastly, we have anchovies, a pesto, and then some mozzarella. I'm a big anchovy guy.
Wow. Tons of flavor. Very strong. Powerful. Out of all three of them, this one is the most interesting and unique in the form of a pizza. This is classic and just a really good fresh slice. This is just an explosion of flavor that's new and something that you've probably never had before. So we are at Seu Pizza Illuminati. It is in Trastevere, but it's kind of off the beaten path. We came here because it's one of the pizzerias in town that's like kind of Neapolitan. I don't think it's the most purist or super authentic Neapolitan experience, but it's not going to be like that Roman or pizza, the pizza by the slice we've been trying. So um, Cody got the margarita and I got this like kind of specialty tomato pizza. It looks so good. They've got cheese on here and then different tomatoes. It smells amazing. Love like the colors too. They're so pretty. We've got like the super thin crust, that dark char or leopardy on the bottom. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's like a tomato lover's dream. You have like not only all the tomatoes on the top of the pizza, but also the crushed tomato or like the sauce. Mm. Okay. I'm in heaven. This is so good. Uh, Caught red handed. Mm. This is the buffalo milk margarita. It's called the DOP. So I'm going to give it a pretty go. Mm. Looks so good. That's really good. Perfectly cooked. The dough is perfect. George obviously wants some. You want a bite? We are at I'm Army in Trastevere and tonight it's all about the Roman style pizza. Roman style pizza is typically really thin crust. It's not as like saucy and super soft as the Neapolitan <coughs> pizza. Um, so it's certainly kind of its own beast, but we just got two margarita pizzas tonight. We're going simple. Margarita pizzas are oftentimes one of the best pizzas you can get on the menu. This is supposed to be one of the best places for a classic Roman pie in the city. It smells really good, so I'm gonna dig in. So we've got uh, just a really thin slice of pizza here, a lot of cheese. Oh. That's really delicious. This, the, I like the Roman pizza because it's pretty straightforward and simple. The crust isn't very delicate, it's a little crunchy, and it's not the star of the show here. The star of the show, in my opinion, is more so like the tomatoes and the toppings. There's a little bit of extra flour on the bottom of this pie, which I'm kind of like indifferent to. It's really, really good. Love that. Simple, great flavor, and it's light too. I love when you eat the pizza in Italy, you don't feel like you have a brick in your stomach after it's still. Like it tastes good, you feel satisfied, but you don't feel like, oh, you're just gonna lay on the couch forever. So I'm a, I'm a fold type. I'm gonna fold it. One bite. Oh man. Where do you want a bite? There's not a lot of sauce, but it's really good that way. Um, a lot of cheese, it's crispier than a Neapolitan pizza. It's light, so you can eat a whole pizza and not feel like you've cannibalized your whole day. It's just a nice, beautiful, well done pizza.